Hello everyone, welcome to DevTamine. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Next UI in React with Feed Projects. Okay, first of all, let's go to Next UI official website. Search for nextui.org. Just go to this website. And then go to Docs. And then go to Installation. Over here in Frameworks section, you can go to Feed. So this is the requirement. First of all, you have to install Veed. Click over here. This is how you can install Veed. Go to uh, Get Started. Uh, scroll down. You will see how to install Veed. Okay, this you use this command. Okay, if you want to uh, create a project on desktop, I just press Shift on keyboard and right click, and then open PowerShell window here. Then I copy this command and paste this over here. So you have to make sure that you have installed Node.js on your computer by typing node-v to check the version of Node.js on your computer. And then you have to copy this command, okay? You can click on copy over here and then right click here and hit enter. So if we ask you the project's name, you can name is whatever you want, but over here I will name it uh, feed next UI React. Okay, hit enter. So over here you have to choose to React, and you can choose TypeScript, but in this project I will use uh, only JavaScript. Okay, and then you will see a folder on desktop. This one, feed next UI React. Open this folder with Visual Studio Code. Uh, drop it over here. Okay, let's open terminal over here. Okay, the next command that you have to execute is uh, npm install. Okay, npm install. So if you download uh, React packages and install in this project, after the installation is done, you will see uh, a node module folder over here. See node modules. To run the application, you just type uh, npm run dev. It will tell you over here in PowerShell here. npm run dev. Over here, hit enter. Press Ctrl on keyboard and click over here to open the application with web browser. See, our application is running. So the next step, let's go back to next UI website. So the requirement have feed to, we have react. The next step is to install Tailwind CSS. Click on over here, it will redirect to Tailwind official website. Click on installation over here again, and then click on framework guys. Click on feed over here. We have create project already, so we will skip the step one. So in step two is to install Tailwind CSS. Copy this command. And go back to Visual Studio Code and create a new terminal over here. Paste the command over here by right click, hit enter. Okay, the next command is this one. After you run this command, you will have tailwind.config.js and postcs.config.js. Paste this over here. And over here, you will see postcs.config.js and tailwind.config.js. So the next step, you just copy content over here. and put it into tailwind.config.js files. Okay, tailwind.config.js files is over here. So we remove this one and paste the codes over here. Okay, the next step is to put tailwind directive in index.cs. Copy it. Go to source and then index index.cs remove all the default code and paste this over here okay 
and next step is to run npm run dev we've already run npm run dev in this uh, powershell or this terminal okay the next step is to use tailwind class here okay let's try this one i will copy this one and go back here and then in app.js x so you can remove this one and remove all the default code over here okay and you can remove this one as well let's need uh we don't really need uh app dot theater okay i will remove it okay we can remove this one and then just paste the code over here h1 hello world save it Okay, let's open this one this the application if the tailwind doesn't work you just need to restart the application by press ctrl c over here and y and then run npm run dev again let's try to refresh this one see you will see tailwind work right now and if you want to change the background for example bg red 100 save you will see the background color on hello world okay what is the next step the next step is to install frame motion 4 over here you see they already include frame motion and next ui installation in the same command you just copy this command and paste it over here hit enter if you install next ui and frame motion at the same time okay the installation is done then the next step you have to copy this code and put it into tailwind.configs.js all right let's go to tailwind.configs.js over here so we paste this over here and then you have to put this one on the top of the files of the code over here okay and you include next ui in plugin and you also include dark mode class over here just copy this one and put this over here okay and then save it okay what is the next step uh, you have to do provider setup so you have to wrap the app with the next UI provider. First of all, you have to import next UI provider into app.jsx. Here is app.jsx. No, it's in main.jsx. Sorry. Go to main.jsx, import next UI provider over here, and then wrap the app with next UI provider. Okay. Over here, we use next UI provider. Okay, and then we put app inside next UI provider. Okay, save it. And this is optional, you don't have to set it up. Next step, let's try to apply the component of next UI to our application. For example, go to avatar over here. So this is how you import it. So copy this code. Uh, for example, I want to import avatar in app.jsx. I import it over here. Okay. And what's out? Uh, uh, if you click on code over here, you will see all code. Okay, we just import avatar. Sorry, you don't have to import all of them because we don't need all of them okay we import only avatar over here and then just copy this code 
and paste this over here. For example, I put hello on top and then I put avatar at the bottom. Save it. And then let's go back to the application. You will see they works perfectly. What else we can do? For example, uh, I want to use accordion. This one. Let's take a look at the code. This what you have to import. You have to import accordion and accordion item. Accordion item. Sorry. Yeah. Import it over here. And if you want to show it copy this code and put it over here and you have to include default content variable let's copy this one okay and then over here put this here Save. Okay, let's take a look at. See, when you click here. How about if you wanna change the color? You want you want this to be in a dark mode. So let's take a look over here. Uh, theme. Here is how to activate dark mode. You just call me in here. And class dark. Let me copy this one. And go to main.jsx. Okay, we wrap app with main tag. Okay, save. You will see the application become dark mode here. See. All right, this is all about this video. If you like this video, feel free to click like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.